We have a question for you this morning. Are you looking for a new summer cocktail? How about a mix of cool and community with a splash of backyard party? Mm. Justin Stapleton is here to show us what's on tap at a popular hangout in Midtown. I love this place. I do too. This is one of my favorite spots. And the funny, uh, the crazy thing is, Zach, it's a spot that a lot of folks probably live in or around yeah, this area and have no idea it's even there. So yeah, let me ask you a question. What do you do when you mix a really good pizza joint in the backyard with some hammocks? I know, and some really, really nice good lawn summer chairs, cocktails? A little music. Mm -hmm. One of the coolest spots in Midtown. Check it out. I didn't. Yeah, I guess if I had to start, I would call it a beer garden, but it is definitely a lot more than that. Um, I think that's kind of why they just want it to be Axelrad, you know, but uh, I think it's an awesome place. It's like, it's just equal parts, beer garden, craft cocktail bar, music venue, um, and then just like a great space for different kind of, kinds of events. You'll get live music from all different genres. You'll get like an open air market. Um, yeah, just like a inclusive space for whatever whatever suits our vibe. Yeah, uh, so the one I'm gonna make for you right now is called the When We Were Plum. Um, it's gonna be like a really nice like summer, spring cocktail. And this drink's gonna be made with pearl plum vodka. It's gonna be Luxardo cherry liqueur. It's gonna be lemon juice. It's gonna be a house-made blackberry simple syrup. And then we're gonna top it with a little bit of uh, Lagunitas hoppy seltzer. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice and refreshing and light. But um, yeah, let's, let's go. You know, after being here for a while, you also start to know what people that come here like to drink. So it's definitely kind of geared toward the people that come here during the summer or the spring. We're gonna gear it toward that, their taste, you know? So it's gonna be the base. And we are huge fans of this hoppy refresher by Lagunitas. So we use it in a couple of our cocktails on top of just drinking it. Top of a little Luxardo cherry. And that's it. Just that easy. Just that easy. So that's my favorite thing about Axelrad. It's the mo to me, it's the most unique spot I've found in Houston where people can come from any part of the town, any kind of culture, and just like find a nice like community um, feel here. Yeah. Love that place. It's so good. It's one of my favorites, that too. That drink looks so refreshing. It was very good. I'm not going to lie. Now, the crazy thing is, is that it's officially called Axelrad Beer Garden, right? But obviously, you saw it right there. They've got cocktails. Yeah. They've got mocktails as well for those, you Who know, yeah, that don't yeah. drink or just want to go out with their friends or maybe just don't want to drink that evening. Uh, the backyard has it's hammocks. Awesome. It's amazing. Live so jazz. Great. They also have uh, everything from... Um, Farmers markets sometimes they'll bring in a lot of vendors that have all kinds of trinkets and jewelry and this and that. So it very much is a community. That's kind of the beauty of it. Interestingly enough, too, you were asking me about those tap handles. The tap handles. Uh -huh, They're gorgeous. There. They're gorgeous. They're all handmade. The crazy thing is, if you go to Axelrad, none of those are labeled, right? And he's, so uh, the gentleman right there, the bartender, told me right. he said people will come in and they'll say, well, "What kind of beer would you like?" And they'll go, "I want that one." And, and their list is a mile long. Right. And the crazy thing is, is that they'll say, "Oh, I want that one," and he'll go, "Oh, well, do you?" know what kind of beer and he's like I don't care what beer it is I want that one <laughs> it's just whatever it is judging so, a book by its cover yeah 100 percent. Right? so yeah no it's a great spot as well I want to thank all the folks at Axel Red um, you know they had some tough times going through the pandemic I was talking to the general manager and made it through uh, they're there opened every single day in the evening it's a great spot especially yeah. once it starts to cool down it's at the corner of Alameda and uh, I don't know what the cross street I'm, is. I'm blanking on it as well yeah. but uh, anyway but it's it's a, a very cool spot if you want to know more about it Click the Houston.com slash on tap. We will uh, download the rest of this as well and uh, put it on the show and I'll link it up to uh, their website. So if you want to get your chance. This is a new series. It's yep. an ongoing series. So yep. if you have a suggestion on a, a brewery, yeah. a, a wine, a, 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 beer, a beer garden, a, a vineyard. Distillery, um, anything. Yeah. 
anything. Yeah. Let us know. Let this guy know, and he'll be sure to check it out and right. uh, then show it all to us. Yeah, it'll be great. In fact, next week we're going to go up on the north side, another nice little hidden gem that a lot of folks probably don't even know it's there. It's got new management. They've got new brews they're bringing Ooh, in, this. so it's going to be good stuff. So we'll love talk this. about that next Wednesday. Okay, mister. We appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you.